Hey folks, this is Jake Davidson on the Fly Review for you, and tonight I'm talking about Madam Web, released on Valentine's Day, directed by J. Uh, S. J. Clarkson, starring Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney, Isabella Merced, Celeste O'Connor, Tahar Ram, Adam Scott, Mike Epps, and Emma Roberts. This is the more of Sony's hey, you know, Marvel's doing Spider-Man, but we still own Spider-Man characters, so we're going to give them their own solo movies. I liked the Venom movies, personally. I thought that they were fun. I got hiccups. Morbius was terrible in all the most terrible ways. And I don't understand how the hell this got released before Craven did. I mean, what the hell? What, what, is Craven really that bad? <laughs> Well, this is a bad, bad movie, Madam Web. Um, I mean, where do you even start? Uh, she's a uh, after a near. She's a paramedic in New York in the early two thousands, and uh, after a near death experience, she just discovers that she gets visions of the future. And she discovers that this man with Spider-Man-like powers is hunting down these three teenage girls because he believes they're going to assassinate him one day in the distant future. Uh, trying to protect these girls from this psychopath, it, 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 it's, 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 just, it's, it's just the worst. It's just the, pretty much rinse and repeat. The, she, gets them, she rescues them, hides them, they wait 20 minutes, get to know each other, rinse and repeat until we've hit 90 minutes. It's it's really bad. It's really bad. And then we set up her as her actual comic book self after the end of the film. By the end of the film, you know, with spoilers, this movie isn't going to make money. People aren't going to like it. But yes, by the end of it, she is the blind, paraplegic, uh... Uh, explore of uh, space and time that she's in the comics by the end of the movie, but it's literally not till the very everything's over by the time she's actually Madame Web. Uh, and it's just like the use of the 2000s is absolutely nonsensical and useless in this movie. I don't know, it's all basically just so she can have a line hyping up the potential of this huge future of Marvel heroes that are going to come very soon. Dear God, these kids are fighting in the other room. Just give me a second. Now, the thing is, as bad as Madam Web is, it's really not the kind of modern-day, cliche, uber-cringe, woke bad. There's no big, big speeches about patriarchy or girl boss moments. It's just good old fashioned bad movie. You got bad effects and bad acting, bad characters, a bad script, bad costumes. It's just a bad. Two seconds. Okay, so just in closing, my kids are being awful. Uh, I'm just gonna say that Madam Web is a horrible movie, a terrible superhero movie, but unlike other terrible superhero movies like Steel and Catwoman, uh, Elektra and, and, and Fantastic Four and Green Lantern to a degree, even though I enjoyed the original Fantastic Four movie and Green Lantern, uh, all those movies had a p potential to be the next big superhero movie, or at least potentially be really good and interesting different films. But Madam Web never had a chance, especially with this 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 budget, this cast, and this usable material. It's just it was doomed from start. And that's not to say anything to you know negative to any of the ladies in the cast. Uh, they're all very charismatic and attractive women. 
But none of them are movie stars. And, you know, just because there's four pretty girls together doesn't mean they, they can make up the talent, make up and replace the talent of one Sandra Bullock or one Julia Roberts or one Anne Hathaway or one actual movie star. You know, it's um, uh, just not. Uh, I think that Black, uh, Adam, Adam Webb, Madam Webb, while an atrocious film, a one-star movie, one star, that's all I'm giving it. I do think it's going to have its place in time in the future in the hierarchy of superhero movies and pop culture, where it's going to be a film that is... <laughs> um, people are going to watch with friends, make fun of, laugh, look at the pretty girls and... Roll doobie or two. Uh, it is gonna be. It is one of those movies. It's so bad. It's kind of fun, but I cannot recommend anybody actually spend their money to see this film. Uh, yes, one star definitely pass. Wait for streaming. <laughs> I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the flight.